modifiability let me just correct the name here it is one of the advantages of object oriented pr uh, programming it means the data which is representing in one entity if you do some kind of a minor changes in one entity that minor changes will not affect another entity for example here if i do some changes in the class entity okay if i suppose add a new name that is a uh, that is void car name let's suppose a property if i add a car name method okay if i add a car name method in into this class this this entity will not this changes this minor changes will not affect this entity or else any major changes in this entity will not affect another entity so it means because i already told you that one entity is totally decoupled with the another entity that one entity does not affect another entity so so minor changes or major changes is very easy using object oriented programming so another advantage is extensibility now suppose if you want to extend the current entity let's take up the example of a car okay if i want to extend the current entity okay like this if if suppose uh, let me take up an example of a class santro car if i want to do the extensibility i can do the extensibility like this by using inheritance inheritance is a one of the object oriented principle using inheritance i can do extensibility of a class okay uh if suppose uh, if suppose i want uh, to do some kind of a minor changes or major changes in this santro class this class will not affect another class another class i mean the parent class of car so this car is also known as a derived class uh, i'm sorry a base class because a uh, base class or a parent class this santro car is can be a child class or derived class so this is how extensibility is also possible now maintainability another advantage because the program is structured properly we can do uh, we can because one entity does not affect another entity extensibility is also possible modifiability is also possible so it becomes very easy to maintain also because program is well structured with the object oriented programming maintainability is also possible reusability yes we can reuse the code we can reuse the methods also let me just show you reusability means we can reuse this code we can reference this code uh, we can create the objects objects anywhere in in our program in any, any part of our program okay we can reuse the methods also like that uh, like this only for example i have created the parent class car i have inherited to my santro car that is the santro car now become the child class for parent car car parent class car okay so if i want to reuse the method of steering if i if want to do the modification in 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 steering i can do like this by using override method that is public override steering i can do some kind of a uh, reuse i can reuse the same method name okay and i can override that method also so it becomes a uh, reusability of the code also because whatever the properties uh, does a parent class have it it automatically automatically uh, directly comes to the santro class so it means the car is nothing but a general thing now 
to uh, and the centro car become more specialized general specialized class specialized general thing i mean so let me just uh, write the principles of object oriented programming the first is abstraction encapsulation third is aggregation fourth is composition fifth is polymorphism or inheritance first i will write inheritance sixth is polymorphism abstraction mean thinking in terms of certain way thinking in terms of de uh, design aspects whatever methods we need to expose by using abstraction we can do that encapsulation it's like uh, hiding the complexity of the code okay whatever methods uh, or uh, variables we want to hide we can we can hide that also it is also known as uh, the abstraction uh, and encapsulation both uh, uh, complement each other because one which uh, one will show the necessary things and another encapsulation hides the complexity of the code aggregation means uh, relationship we will talk about the relationship here where the one one entity that means one class is interdependent independent independent of another class whereas in the composition one class in is interdependent on another class inheritance it's a parent child relationship we can extend our class also polymorphism means poly means many morphins forms so it means many forms there are two types of polymorphism one is compile time polymorphism polymorphism that is static polymorphism and another one is run time polymorphism that is also known as dynamic polymorphism uh by using the same method name but with the different signature uh we can make use of that methods also same methods but access differently depending upon the different signature we can override methods also in polymorphism so this is the advantages of using the object oriented programming let me just summarize one more time here so adv uh, so advantages of using the uh, object oriented programming simplicity the naming convention is was related to the real world scenario so it becomes the code becomes uh, properly structured if the, the if there is a huge big project also it becomes very easy to remember the, those names also because it is related to the real world scenario modularity one entity that is one class is does not affect another class if we if we do some kind of a changes in one class it does not affect any uh, another class also each object form the different entity it means uh, every uh, every object represent a different entity uh, for example if we create a object of the class it means it will represent the uh, it will represent it will represent the properties of the class okay so objects because the objects are the instance of the class class is just general thing object is a specialization of the general thing modifiability minor changes is very possible the minor changes or major changes it does not affect any other part of a of a program because if you do changes in the class it does not affect uh, another entities also other entities also another part of the program does not affected extensibility is possible by using inheritance we can extend by using a parent child relationship maintainability it is possible because if the pro if the code become properly structured where the where the one entity does not affect another entity modifiability is possible minor changes major changes does not affect the other parts of the program then maintainability becomes very easy now Re reusability means we can reuse the uh, code we we can reuse the method names we can reuse the code also by using the inheritance uh, reuse by using the polymorphism reusability is also possible so this is the advantages of using the object oriented programming in our project okay so it is very important to make our pr project flex flexible to make uh, extensible to make reusable so it, it it becomes compulsory to use the object oriented programming it is also known as a well structured or well architect project if you use object oriented programming if you have any queries any doubts just mail me on this email address that is gurumatrix2004 at the rate gmail.com do visit my site that is www.coachpond.com 
थैंक यू वेरी मच